Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to a new IDE, Integrated Development Environment for PyTorch and its ecosystem. This IDE is called Torch Studio. As you know, PyTorch, the name Torch, Torch Studio is an IDE specially made for people who use PyTorch a lot. So you can see that there are pitches that you can browse, train, compare AI models in a couple of clicks, code only, when it is required so this is aiming to be your ide for all the things that you have to do with pytorch and some of the advantages that you can see that it's connected to a thousands and um, you know thousands of data sets and you can you have models offline and online you can build and train models locally and also remotely and you get to see visually a lot of things like for example you want to see the model visually the graph representation you can do you want to debug the model you can do you want to see the chart the training chart you can do and also you have got a lot of flexibility around it so that's a main pitch if you want to install this and use this what you have to do is you have to go click download here and after that you have to select the operating system that you have the good thing about torch studio is torch studio is completely open source which means you don't have to be worried about what is there in the code underneath you can just straight away jump into the open the github repository and then start understanding the code if you do not want to use an ide that you do not trust so having said this thing we know that torch studio seems to be a good idea for a lot of people to get started and then you know use PyTorch, like use Torch Studio with PyTorch. I'm going to show you what happens after you install. So what happens after you install? After installation, once you open Torch Studio for the first time, it's going to ask you to install a couple of libraries. And once you click install recommended, it's going to take some time like this. So once you click install recommended, it's going to take some time in installing all the required libraries in the location that you have given. You might have to wait for probably like 10 minutes for, for Torch Studio to install all the required libraries. After all the required packages are installed, now Torch Studio is ready for you to use. I'm going to open my spotlight and then say Torch Studio. So now at this point, Torch Studio is going to open in front of you and we are going to just quickly see what all the things that we can do. Let me make this slightly big so that we can see what's happening. Okay. Yeah. So you can see that there is a data set section and you can explore a lot of different data set. And then within this, you have got, you have got this, this particular first section, the second section and the third section. You want to look at one by one. So first I'm going to load the MNIST data set. So I'm going to load MNIST dataset and you can see that this is loading the MNIST dataset and you can see all the options here. So MNIST dataset is successfully loaded and you can see, okay, this is five, five is the data, um, this one. So if you, you can get basic information. Now, if you want to analyze this dataset, you can click analyze and then it's going to start analyzing. You can see that it's, it's analyzing this dataset and it's going to give you some basic insights about this dataset. So in this place, yeah, yeah, just just what I was saying, it has already loaded. So you can see the class distribution. You've got how much percentage is nine, how much percentage is zero, how much percentage is one. You've got uh, you've got the class distribution. So now that you have some basic information about in this data set, the next thing that say, let's say we want to build a model. So we want to build a model, but let's say like you, you didn't want to use any of this GUI, you just wanted to use MNIST data set. You have to go click the code here. You can get the code where you can get the MNIST data set. All you have to do is get this. Okay, but, but right now we are not going to code. So we're going to build a model to train. I mean, we are going to train a model that can, uh, that can classify MNIST data set. So I'm going to click this button, which is going to help me create a new model and you can like like how you can explore a lot of data sets here you can explore a lot of models here like different places from where you can explore models like you have got models uh, detection models video so you've got all these models now we're going to talk about only specifically mnist classifier if you want to use mnist classifier as part of your code you can click code and then you can see the mnist classifier code so you've got uh, you've got the typical um, the typical class and then you have got uh, you have got a bunch of uh, neural network layers and then you have got the output that that's been sent out so you have got the mnist code but if you don't want to see the code you can still leave it as it is now let's say you want to build the code like you want to just build the model and at this point you can see there is a graph representation of what that code is 
exactly what this code was here you can you can see the same thing here like whatever it is defined here you can see that here and at the same time you can see five here and one thing that you might notice is right now all the classes are equally distributed even though it is five the the code is not able to distinctly say that this is five and this is the time when you're going to start training in my case i've got only cpu so which means i'm going to select the cpu but if you let's say if you've got a gpu you've got multiple gpus then this is the place where you can select what is the machine on which you want to train and once i click train you can start seeing the the model training process i'm going to click train and you can see that it's it's starting to train it's caching and uh, you can see what's going to happen and meanwhile you can have you could have already seen that you know the, the model has been built it has got almost like um, 1.1.2 million parameters and then it has started training this is epoch 0 and ideally it should start showing up something here and because because i'm on cpu it might take some time let's see how long it's going to take see that it is epoch 1 and then you can already see that it is showing 5 the maximum the the first epoch and you can also click dashboard and then see how it is how it is performing right now where is a validation loss where is a validation metric and then you can see what is the status right now so we are in the first epoch and this training is still going on and you can start to see the charts as the epochs as the training loops increase and then you would also see the model uh, the ideally the validation loss going down un unless until you're going to overfit so this entire process you can see that a bunch of clicks you are able to successfully start a pytorch model training process and then there are a couple of hyper parameters that you can train uh, you can tune here what is the optimizer that you want to use what is the loss that you want to select what is the accuracy metric that metric that you want to use how many epochs that you want to select like I've, in, in this case like there are 100 epochs i can just simply stop it and then i can say i want to do only one epoch i can change the batch size like a lot of things a lot of things that you can do like whatever you're going to do with code you can do the same thing here meanwhile you can also edit the code here so you can like i said you can click the code here come and then make some changes to the code you can of course do it so this ide is supposedly something that is supposed to help you enable do simpler do things like where uh, where let's say you want to do something complicated then you need your expertise but there are certain boilerplate stuff which for which you don't have to necessarily code every time i think this idea is for places like that where there are certain things which you can just simply copy and paste and this id is exactly doing that for you where you don't have to necessarily code completely from scratch rather you get a boilerplate code which you can play around and then start using it and that is i think the um, the usp of torch studio and as the, as you can go see here if you click the features you can see the features that they have listed out you've got a lot of data set you've got a lot of models you can run and or train models locally or remotely which means you it's compatible with aws azure gcp everything and visually you can see the data sets we just saw how it's analyzing the data set and we also saw that you 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 can you can analyze the data set you can visualize the model graph visualization you can monitor the training um training loops you can play with hyper parameters graphic like uh, using a bunch of clicks you can compare training you can see all these things um just like you know if you've got a, an experimentation tool and then it's also flexible where you have got like modules it's it's open source you can check the code all these things i think this this is going to be adopted by um, the deep learning community when i go to the github repository i can already see a couple of issues which means people have started using it which is a good thing so if you if you think if you are somebody who uses pytorch a lot and uh, you want to use an ide on your local machine that can make certain mundane tasks easier for you i think this ide is something that you should definitely try it out uh, kudos to the torch studio developers i think they they were i think their name was mentioned somewhere so kudos to the torch studio developers making it open source making it public making it so easy for anybody to build their pytorch model and also explore the pytorch ecosystem i hope you get to try out this amazing software if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope this video was helpful to you 
Stay safe. Peace.